I was 23 years old and um, I fell in love with a woman that had a child and I raised that child and that child is mine. Um, she knows her father and her father is cool. I never had any issues or beef with him, but he understands that I raised his child and I'm going to continue to be in that girl's life, that woman's life. I'm sorry, because she's a grown woman right now. And um, I appreciate her and I love her and I will always be there for her, period. But I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but anyway, man, you guys go down in the comment section. Tell me what it was for you. Did you ever decide to be a stepfather and tell the reason why and would you be a stepfather again why did i decide to be a stepfather i was talking to a co-worker about this particular topic and title and she said i think you should say why did you accept being a stepfather and i said nah mm-mm -mm. You decide to be a stepfather. And the reason I put it in the title like that is because it's implied that I did meet someone who had a child who I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision to accept that. But the first thing I had to do was decide if I wanted to do this or not. Now, I don't encourage anybody to be a stepfather because your favorite YouTuber says, hey, stepfathering worked for me. I understand the complexities and the trials and tribulations of that in which you fall into or step into or decide to do. And that is being a stepfather, taking care of someone else's seed that is not yours. Wow, man, social media will tear me apart right now. But before you do, just just hear me out real quick. And again, I don't encourage you to do anything that I did, because like I always say on this channel, fatherhood is not a blueprint to it. It is not. It's different strokes for different folks. When I met my stepdaughter, who is now about to be 21 years old, when I met her, she was three years old and the cutest little thing. And when I met her mother, I did do my due diligence. I asked about her baby father and she said her baby father is little to non-existent. And I said, OK, cool. I'm going to tell you guys something, though. My father always told me if your children ever have a stepfather, make sure that you get to know that guy. Make sure that you talk to that guy. Take him out for a drink. Y'all go shoot pool. Do something because you need to know what type of person that person is because that person is going to be around your child. That person is going to be around your baby. So at the end of the day, I'm a divorcee right now. I, I'm, I'm divorced. And you guys can go to the video where I'm actually talking about co-parenting after divorce. Um, put it up here and it'll be at the end of this video. Or you could just go down the description box and it'll be there. But yeah, you know, my ex-wife may come upon a guy that she likes, that she may want to introduce to my children. Yes, I'm going to get to know this guy. But my stepdaughter's father, I probably talked to him no more than at five times in the last almost 20 years. Like, literally. like I, I, And then when we talked, we didn't really have anything to say to each other look i raised your daughter so you need to have the questions come to me i am not here to ask you questions because i know what i'm doing as her father 
I am her father. I am her dad. And guess what? I am the best dad ever. We all are the best dad ever if you're watching this channel. But the thing is, it's not my responsibility. And I realized that. But I took on this responsibility. I did. It was based upon how I felt about her mother and how I felt about her. See, accepting something, which my coworker, she wanted me to title this video, accepting something could be anything. You know, hey, I like this woman, but she just has a child. Well, I guess I got to accept that child because I like her and I want to be with her. It wasn't like that with me. If I'm going to be with you and you have a child, I have to decide, do I want that? Do I want, do I want to take on that? And on top of that, do she want to have more children? Now, it's going to play a big part at the end of this video. But I was 23 years old, you know, it's like, yeah, cool, I'm good. And, you know, I really didn't understand being a stepfather. I just was like, cool. And she said, hey, I don't mind having more children. And we had two more of our own. I have a 15-year-old and I have a 10-year-old right now. And, you know, it, it, it worked out for the best. You feel me? The thing is, you you want to at least have something in that household that looks like you, you know? And that's what leads me into my next point. I just got a divorce. I'm 40 years old, people. My number one aspect of that thought process when coming out into the world, being a single man after a divorce at 40 years old was I don't want any woman with a child. And I thought that was impossible, especially in our culture. And, you know, lining up the stars and everything like if this woman did not have children, she might be crazy. She might, you know, something. But I did meet someone. Actually, I met someone without children. She was 40 years old. I was 39. And we are rocking like nobody's business today. Like this is everything. And we may have another child. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But she checked all of the boxes for me because I was not going to get in a serious relationship with a woman with a child. Because at the end of the day, if she is at a certain age that I wanted, I wanted a woman that is at least my age. And I understand people saying, hey, get a younger woman. I can't deal with these young women out here today. They are on social media. They are thinking things that doesn't exist. They are thinking some impossible dude to come along and take care. No, I'm not doing that. That I, I cannot do that. Uh, back in the day, that probably was the one, two thing to do. If you're an older guy, you go get a young chick. She understands. Hey, you know, I'm popping out these babies. But at the end of the day, I ran into that problem. I said, look. You know, these young chicks are on social media and they have a perception, a false perception of what a relationship is. And I, I, I can't deal with that. So I wanted someone who were who was my age and I met someone and she is great. She is, I, I fell in love, people. Yes, I did. And we are good together. She has no children. She has no children. She was married before. I was married before. So we, we have that in common and it works for us. So the thing is, I am not trying to be a stepfather again. You know, I already did that. I raised a child who was not biologically mine. And if you talk to this child today, which she's a grown woman right now, but if you talk to her, She's a spitting image of me. She thinks like me. She's critical in her thinking. You know, she's logical. She understands what it is to be a woman. You know, she met a Hispanic 
young man in college, I mean, not in college, but in high school, and they're still together right now. And if you look at him, he is like a spitting image of me, you know? That's because I raised her. So it's different strokes for different folks at different times in their life. I was 23 years old and um, I fell in love with a woman that had a child and I raised that child and that child is mine. Um, she knows her father and her father's cool. I never had any issues or beef with him, but he understands that I raised his child. And I'm going to continue to be in that girl's life, that woman's life. I'm sorry, because she's a grown woman right now. And um, I appreciate her and I love her and I will always be there for her, period. But I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but anyway, man, you guys go down in the comment section. Tell me what it was for you. Did you ever decide to be a stepfather and tell the reason why and would you be a stepfather again that's all i got man y'all make sure that y'all just subscribe to the channel like this video share this video might have helped someone i appreciate you make sure that you make your priority your responsibility and your responsibility your priority and always love your children I'm out. Y'all be safe out there. Peace out. And some videos just popped up on the screen. Get more in depth in the channel. Y'all explore Dutch talk fatherhood and a father's perspective. That's all I got. Peace. Aaron Jayla Brooks. <laughs> Richard Glenn Burns Jr. Ethan Lee Brown.